What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, and welcome to Ether Loop, which is basically like a roguelike bullet hell game. So if there, if you know anything about my channel, those are two genres that I like very much. So this one kind of, you know, tickled my fancy a little bit. I did play one or two games before this just to kind of, you know, figure out the controls a little bit. And so far it seems pretty promising. So, and I will let you guys know that I did receive this game uh, from the developer in order to make this video possible as well. So full disclosure on that one is being developed and produced by Moon Lens. It looks like we got a little, what is this? 20% crit chance. All right, I'll take it. And uh, you know, so far it seems uh, pretty pretty robust, I'll, I'll be honest. Now I know that some people don't like the kind of pixelated aesthetic that some games have, but uh, this one's not too bad in my opinion, you know? But I, you know, it's a kind of personal preference on that one. What do we, what, can we not kill those? Oh, I see, okay. We just gotta, just gotta be patient and know what you're doing here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I may have screwed myself over here a little bit, but you know, that's okay. We do have a dodge button as well, which you will see multiple times in this. It was originally key bound to the right mouse button and I changed it to space because that seemed like the more natural, there we go, natural button to use for me. And then the ability was, oh my goodness, let's, let's get out of that little trap for a second. All right, we're okay, we're okay. A um, little bit rusty on the bullet hell type games. It's been, I say as I take damage, it's been probably uh, two or three years since I've played one. I used to play them a lot. I used to play Realm of the Mad God. I used to play Assault Android Cactus, which is a fantastic game if you've never tried it for yourself. Do highly recommend both of those, actually. I've heard that Realm of the Mad Gods changed quite a bit since the last time I played. So, okay, we got a boss here. I did play against this guy once. He's uh, he's not too bad. I think this is baby's first boss, basically. He says as he almost takes bad damage because he's not paying attention. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. I like it. I like it a lot. The, uh, the damage doesn't seem as much, but let's let's try it out. You know, every time we get something new, definitely pays to try it out, at least until you know what it does. So, so far, I think it's actually maybe doing more damage, but possibly because there's just more projectiles. I think that's probably per projectile damage on that chart. What was that? Increased status effect chance. Okay. Now, there was a shop down here. So we probably should take a look at that and then we'll head down to the next area. But yeah, like I said, you know, aesthetic, take it or leave it. Some people probably like it, some people don't. It's all personal preference on this one. I'm gonna go with this uh, active ability and what it does, I don't really wanna go this way, but I will. What it does is it, it pushes everything away from you, so probably very useful in that area there. I just don't want to squander it because it does take energy in order to use it. Let's go ahead and fight the first boss. I have fought him once or twice and basically he's got these little clone. Oh God, I went the wrong way. He's got these little guys that kind of come out and defend him for a little bit. And once you beat them, then he comes out to play himself. There we go. And from here, you know, not too, not too shabby. So, uh, yeah, so far I'm obviously taking awful, awful damage. Uh, so far I'm, I'm really enjoying this game, to be honest. It's, it is fairly bright and colorful like this. Let's just go ahead and, and do that really quick, just to give ourselves a little bit of a break. Uh, it does seem to have an issue, uh, when you kill stuff big like that with a lot of stuff on the screen that it does seem to lag a bit. I have a decently beefy computer, so I don't feel like there's really, it doesn't really warrant that, especially with the type of aesthetics and graphics that this game has, but I'm not a developer. I don't really know what all goes into that. I just I feel like it's maybe a little bit laggier than I would like. That's my basically only complaint that I've had so far, other than I have yet to find a gun that shoots bees like in Bioshock, and that would be fantastic, so. 
um, hone towards the enemy. That sounds really nice. Look at that. Don't even have to aim anymore. Well, barely. Devour weapon life permanently set to one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, first off, we want that. Oh, it's an active ability. Freezes enemies. Let's, let's try it out. Okay. That didn't seem to... Oh, I only have one life now. Oh. Oh, I see. That was potentially a poor play on my end because I am fairly new to this. But I did notice that the shot pattern of this guy looks like the staff on Realm of the Mad God. If you played that, you know probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's try our freeze ability. All right, that was pretty awesome. I do like that. Looks like it freezes them for a decent amount of time as well. All right, we can no longer afford to take basically any damage. So let's not be, you know, jumping into areas because I feel like that's probably the easiest way for me to get myself killed here. And orbiting shield, that would be very helpful. Thank you, game. And crit damage, perfect. All right, so, so far I'm really enjoying the giant kind of circle of bullets here that hone in on the enemy. I almost just took bad damage like a fool there. That would have been very, very bad of me, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and check out these other rooms. Really what I'm looking for is this, yes. Hmm, extra fire rates. Can we get another shield? We can get another shield, perfect. And immunity, uh, that's probably useful, but I'm gonna actually go for the fire rate. Uh, oh wait, that was an active ability too. Oh, okay. I thought it was just fire rate for fire rate's sake, but apparently not. Less speed, extra damage. All right, cool. We need to, there's one more room it looks like over here before we go down and face the next boss. I can't pick this up, right? Okay, that is basically useless for me. Oh, it's a bee! I asked for bees and I got bees. So you know what? I'm happy about that. What do we got here? I understand now. So basically what it's saying is whenever you pick up a new weapon, it just adds it to your current weapon, but you only get one life. That seems really powerful, but also very, very scary. So. Let's go ahead and see if we can kill this guy basically as fast as possible and we died immediately. Okay. So that could have gone better, but you know what? We're still learning here and I'll be honest, this starting pistol or blaster or whatever seems uh, quite slow and, and useless now, but maybe I'm just used to having two guns in one. You know, we're going to have to try that again once we're maybe a little bit better at this game. I feel like my biggest problem right now is that I am looking at where I'm firing and not paying attention as much to the bullets around me, which is not what you necessarily want to do on a bullet hell type game. That's how you get yourself killed first and foremost. But let's go ahead and let's let's try and get through this level as quickly as we can. And then we can maybe see what's on the second or third level. Uh, third level, right? We have, we've seen the second level. It'd be nice to see what's lower than that. I'd also like to see how many levels this game has, you know? If it's three, I'd be maybe a little bit disappointed. But if it's, uh, you know, 10 or so, that seems quite a bit better. And do they change? Like, this one looks the same. But the second level, if we go down here to the second level, I really need to kill these guys. I just need to ignore what they're shooting at me and just go for the kill. There we go. Uh, is it the same one, right? Or is it different? Oh, we got a little baddie right here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, and increase crit damage. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's see. We have one more room here, which we haven't touched yet. And then we will go see what we can buy from the store and be on our merry way. So, so far, oh, okay, this guy is interesting. So far, I'm I'm actually really enjoying this game. You know, the, the aesthetic I could definitely see not being everybody's thing. I was talking to Gamer Dad a little bit earlier and he basically said, I can't stand games 
that are like pixel graphics he thinks that they 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 feel like they're kind of lazy i suppose or maybe that's just not his thing but this is very interesting whatever this thing is some sort of flying bug creature but all right i have not seen this one before i will take it, it seems much better than the starting pistol at least and let's check out this door and then go kill the first boss Mm, movement speed uh, or ability cost. I feel like I want both because why not? We have the money. We might as well. All right. Let's see. And the other thing is I, I've done this first boss twice. Okay. It is the same boss. I was going to say, is it the same one or is it different? My guess just based off of the, the three runs that I've had so far, it looks like the bosses are potentially the same. And then, oh, was there yellow text there? Is that, he must have some sort of weakness that I, I'm i not seeing. Is it his crotch area? Shoot him in the crotch. That's his biggest weakness, I, I suppose. Okay, this is also, I didn't see which active ability it was because I was too busy talking. Uh, it's the one that, that makes projectiles uh, go away from you, which is very useful in this fight. And the lag once more in our life container. Thank you very much. And I'll be on my merry way. Let's see. This is the same. Okay. So I'm also going to assume, while well, I might be incorrect, this guy is very scary. Some sort of like Cthulhu monster here. Uh, sure. Increase luck. I don't know what that does. Stacks fire rate or reduce. Uh, let's increase our luck. We're cursed. Okay, I don't know what curse we got, but hope it was worth it. It would be very nice to know what, what the curse is too. Mm, unless I'm missing it, I don't see anywhere it called out anywhere. Active ability, fire rate, yes. I do like that one very much. Especially for killing bosses, just crank up your fire rate, shoot them a bunch of times, you know. Roll the dice, move your mice, nobody gets hurt, he says as he takes some more damage. All right, let's go ahead and it's another. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, he shoots about every three seconds. Hmm. You know what, let's try this one out. We haven't tried it before. So it's worth a shot, right? Pun absolutely definitely intended. Oh, and we're and we are dead. You know what? Uh, I think it's it's pretty solid right now. I kind of have to pass judgment once I see a little bit more of the game, maybe some you know, lower levels, but so far it seems at least very well done except for maybe a occasional glitching here and there when when you kill enemies with lots of things on the screen, but other than that, you know, seems to have a decent amount of items and synergy, at least on the lower levels. I'm kind of excited to see what we get further on. And, you know, the aesthetic is take it or leave it. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. I do appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode.